At this point, more than half our shift, our cars were running out of gas. It dawned on me that um, my house was um, just a few hundred yards north of where that fire was headed straight to. Six hours a week, my kids were home by themselves. And it was right in the middle of those six hours. There was a period of time when I was at the evacuation center running around crazy trying to organize as much as I could. I called my wife and she said, I'm in the backyard putting flames out in the backyard. And at that moment, I just said, leave, <laughs> get out of there. <laughs> Sorry, that's obviously part of that's emotional <laughs> um, because uh, it's real. Well, pretty soon I looked to the left of Kmart, there's a column of black smoke coming up. The only place that was over there was Mountain Mike's Pizza. I said, hey, Mountain Mike's is on fire. We need to send a fire engine over there. We have no fire engines. Everyone is busy. I didn't know what's going on, but I could see the fire was burning. And my house is like a block from that. I came to the police and I said, I live here. My kids are down there. My wife is down there. So uh, please let me in. They said nobody could go because all this place is burning. So my heart was blown. And cars are flying past me, just people trying to get away. I'm looking at it. I'm just staring at it and going, how is every house on fire? What happened out here? <laughs>